Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Jasmine. I'm Chris. And today we're going to be taking you along our journey of a full day of junk food eating. This is my personal favorite day of eating, or style of eating, I guess we should say. We're riffing off of our vegan fast food series, and we're going to be focusing more on local businesses here in the Vancouver and Portland area. There's one place that's kind of a chain. It's like... I yeah, guess, yeah. It's I guess it would be considered a chain now full-blown chain yeah but um besides that the two other places we're going to be heading to are local and to start it all off do you want to talk about where we are right now so we are at seize the bagel we've featured this place a few times in videos in the but, past but today's a little bit different uh, i recently did a giveaway with them on instagram it was more of like a contest so basically they asked me to have my instagram audience vote on the name of their vegan egg and cheese breakfast sandwich. Basically, the name of the sandwich that Seize the Bagel chose was the Conscious Chris Epic Witch. So I officially have a sandwich, a sandwich named after me, which I never thought I'd see the day. So and it's pretty cool, but we're gonna get that right now. This is in Vancouver, Washington. There, yeah, are, there are a few locations mm -hmm. in Vancouver. Um, hopefully, or maybe they'll expand to Portland someday, but right now they're just in Washington. So I'm hungry. Are I'm starving. Yeah. So we're gonna get bagels and we'll show you what we get. Uh, oh, there, it's right there. Oh, wow. Here it is. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Hey, hey. How are you doing? Did you see your, it's your very it's own amazing. sign up there? I'm honored and privileged. <laughs> uh, I never thought I'd see the day. That's awesome. We're gonna get two of those. Okay. Uh, everything bagel. Well, everything bagel, yeah. All right, let us open this situation. The boys really want it. Barry's like pawing at me. So we got vegan egg. We got vegan cheese. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like a conscious Chris photo. Wow. That looks good. Oh, I shaved my face today and I look like a little child again. It's excellent. Very simple. It's excellent. Could you get cream cheese on it if you wanted? You can get whatever you want on it. Mm. That'd be a lot, right? It would be really heavy, but I'm just wondering. In New Jersey, this isn't vegan at all, but like pork roll egg and cheese or like Taylor ham egg and cheese. Pork roll? Yeah, that's... Like pulled pork? No, it was like... It's like... Kind of like a cold cut-ish. It's weird. It's like a super Jersey thing. And there's always like a debate on whether people call it pork roll or Taylor ham. I don't know. I've never heard of that in my life. Mr. Jersey man. So Chris is currently headed to Portland. He is picking up the lunch and the dinner for today's video. Um, if you didn't know, we live like 20 to 30-ish minutes away from Portland. So going back and forth for lunch and dinner would just be a waste of time. So he, um, he went to go pick up the food. And I'm here. I'm actually editing so i started editing today's video and then i am doing some emails on my laptop everything's a disaster here so don't mind that we actually got our new computer um finally we got it serviced so we actually um not inherited but my friend my friend monica she had that computer she wasn't using it so she gave it to us and all we had to do was replace the hard drive and it's honestly like a brand new computer there's no damages or anything on it so Thank you so much, Monica. Uh, it's definitely going to be helpful for us to have two desktops. I washed all of these and the boys love, so these are the blankets that we use for the boys, basically. They love warm blankets. So I put them here on the couch and I was gonna let them sit in them until they cool down. And they've been here for the last week. Um, but just look how adorable. I can't, I can't make them move. They freaking love the pile. Hi, Lulu. And Barry up there. Hi, Bear. <sighs> really quickly, I was about to put these away, um, but I have these new plates from Sugar House Ceramics. So I got some new speckled plates for our blog for photography. And I wanted to quickly share when you are, I mean, this is all my opinion, but in my opinion, when you are looking for um, serving wear for your photography, it's best to get matte 
serving ware, so mat plates, bowls, dishes, um, cups. Just because if it is glossy, the light will reflect off of it, and in my opinion, it's just not as appealing in a photo um, with all like the shine and reflection. I feel like it takes away from the food sometimes. I mean, sometimes it looks good if you manipulate it correctly, but I just want to remove that extra step and I just, I, I can't manipulate it correctly. I don't know how to do it. I always have such a hard time with shiny things. So um, once I realized that, I moved away from glossy serving wear and now I tried to purchase things that are pretty matte. This still has a gloss on it, as you can see, but it's not as glossy as other plates that I've seen um, on the market. I feel like it provides a more desirable outcome in my opinion. Um, if any of you are into food photography or blogging or any of that, I just wanted to quickly share. So I hope this helps. I don't know. I'm gonna bring these downstairs. Chris is here, so we're gonna eat. This is what happens when we have a photo shoot. Everything. <laughs> Gets so messy in here, but it's worth it. Okay, Chris, what do we got from... Oh, we didn't even say. So for lunch, we're actually going to be eating Veggie Grill today. Very exciting. You might know what Veggie Grill is. Um, they're more widespread now than ever. I think there. it started in California. They're mostly on the West Coast, and I think New York has one now. And maybe a few more places on the East Coast. Um, Does Chicago have one? Am I crazy? I think Chicago has two. Yeah, well, yeah. Veggie Grill is expanding, and it's really cool to see a vegan chain like this expand. They have really good food, and although you can eat healthy at Veggie Grill or healthier, they do have healthier options. We're, We're going to be eating the junk food today because it's a junk food video. Kind of junk. Actually, this is some of their new stuff, so they asked me to do some photographs for them, so this is like not anything I'm going to post, but for their social media. Um, but we have this sub here. Deli sub. sub. Come on. Deli sub. Unbelievable. I think they use the unreal slices, the, the vegan ah. corned beef. And there's also... Vegan corned beef? Turkey. So Ooh, what is this? That's a Reuben. Ooh, with that's... With the corned beef on it too, sauerkraut. Oh, hell yeah. And, oh my god. Uh, uh, I'm so excited. Cheese. And then we have a seven layer... We have a seven, seven layer, layer burrito. burrito. Did you, you took nice out. photos of them. We could probably put them on the screen, huh? Took a lot of nice photos. Ooh, look at this. Where are the fries? You eat them? Aw. No, there's still some. There's like five. You just saved me like five I've friends. been snacking. These are all mine. You don't get any of these. <laughs> we got yeah, a burger. Yeah, classic burger. What, what, what patty is that? It's definitely not a Beyond or anything. I think it is Beyond. Oh, look at that shape. It's like super... Smell it. Oh, it is Beyond. And then I have like freaking five french fries. I'm sorry. They're I, mine. I was hungry. Do oh, not touch. And then I got some mm. sides to zazz up the photos and stuff. We have like a pesto pasta and like a, like a corn, mm. corn salsa. We were trying to figure out how people film mukbangs. Did we figure it out? I think we figured it out. This looks pretty mukbangy, right? Wow. This looks excellent. So I guess we're just gonna like Sample everything in front of you. Should I sit on the floor? Yeah, join the it's club. Probably better. Okay. Ooh, I gotta unbutton my pants. This is a weird angle. Barry, you wanna oh. sit on my lap? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, Lou. Where'd Lou go? I felt something behind me. He's right here. Lulu. Come here, Lou. Come on, baby. If there's, oh, a, there if there's a mess in the background, we apologize. Uh, there it is. Our house is. Our house is a mess right now. Per usual. Per Don't usual. say right now because. It's it always. Always. <laughs> Cold food life. Everything's cold, but that's how our life goes. Mm. Good? This is different cold cut turkey, cheese. Mmm. Classic sandwich. Mm hmm. Reuben, though. Reuben stuttered. It's soggy, but like, that's our fault. That's, that's good. Mmm. You dab it like this. Mm hmm. I really like that. It was probably crispy when you first got it, huh? Maybe. <laughs> mm. Really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's try this corn. This isn't junk food. But everything else is. These fries are soggy. I keep saying in my head, I'm like, oh, I should toast the fries. Ooh. But then I just keep eating more. A little spicy. I don't think you'll like that one. Oh, okay. There's a jalapeno in there. Can you pass me one of those burritos? Uh huh. What do you want to talk about today? I don't know. Anything new? Anything exciting? 
the sandwich being named after me is like the biggest news of the week for me. Mm -hmm. But we talked about that already. Um, The weather here has gotten better. There, I think the the fires are still burning, but it did rain a bunch uh, a few days ago. It helped a lot. Um, And it helped clear up the sky. Yeah, the air quality is better again, thankfully. Yeah. And I think the fires are more contained now than they were previously. And it's supposed to rain for the rest of the week, so. I know we talked about it in the last vlog, I think. But um, it got even worse. And I was having, like, really bad allergies. Like, I, so I'm, I'm really sensitive to, like, the pollen and I don't know, whatever else affects my allergies here in the Pacific Northwest. But... I'm super sensitive to it to the point where I get like migraines and I have to take allergy um, medication or else I just can't function. Like I just lay in bed all day. Yeah, like I can't concentrate. Um, Yeah, I have a really bad headache. I can't be be in front of the camera, work out. Like I just feel like I can't do anything. It's like foggy. And with the fires, it was like five times worse. And because it was seeping into the house, and usually. With my allergies, I can, like, close the windows and stuff and not go outside to help myself, but the smoke was seeping in. It was kind of scary. The first morning that was happening, we woke up and you just look into our hallway and it's just, like, foggy. It was weird. Such a weird, a weird thing. And I'm grateful that we are where we are and we we didn't have to evacuate and everything. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is a classic burger. And then this this is a seven layer burrito like Taco Bell style, so mm. really good. Um, also, I guess some some exciting personal news. Chris and I are in the process of. Can I share this? Yeah. Chris and I are in the process of purchasing our first home. Um, Which we currently live in. Yeah, so there's not going to be a whole like we bought a house here. I guess we could do that. Then we could just give you a tour of our house now if you want. But to But you've see already that. seen. I mean, they haven't seen the whole thing. I think. We That's true. Really yeah, just them. certain rooms. Yeah, um, but we're in the process of purchasing this home for my parents, which is exciting, and it's been kind of a headache, but not really. Thank God, my a little parents, stressful. Yeah, but we're working with my parents, and then we're working with one of Chris's friends. So it's been cool. I'm excited. I'm, pretty I'm, I'm happy for us. I'm excited too. Barry and Louie are also very excited. Barry and Louie love it here. It's a great house, and we have a great backyard for them. For filming, I think it's a really good space, and uh, it's been good, good to us for the last two years. So we're definitely going to be here for a longer period of time. I don't know how long we'll be living here, but yeah, for the foreseeable future. But house, we do want to redo some stuff like the kitchen, mm-hmm. and so that'll be in future vlogs and all that. I'm sure as as that proceeds, but it should be exciting. We have big plans. We want to do something with the yard, too, because... The backyard's, like, meh. It's beautiful, but, like... It's not, like... The patio's really small, and... Yeah. It, it's it's really nice out there. Like, there's great views. We have a lot of trees behind us, but... Yeah, like Chris was saying, the there's patio is There's so much potential. Sorry to interrupt. So when we have guests over, we don't really go in the backyard, because... It's just... Yeah, it's small. Like, I don't really, I don't really want to set up chairs on the lawn. Yeah, it's, so. like, a 10 by 10 square. We, we're going to extend it. Extend it, maybe get a little uh, deck or something. I don't know. Big plans. Who knows what actually Lots of money, so we gotta talk about it. Right. <laughs> I brought it. Didn't I bring a napkin? I think you talked about it, but I don't think it actually ever happened. Mm. We'll be fine. And we also don't, we have another meal to eat, so we don't want to bore oh. you guys for too long. But that final meal is going to be Epic. very exciting. Yes. This is a lot. This is a lot. I'm, I'm kind of full. like, I don't want to eat for the rest of the day. And I got to save myself for dinner. A lot of bread. What's new with you guys? <laughs> yeah, let us know. Comment if down there's below. there's anything Let us know what you're wanna... eating right now. Mm. I know a lot of people eat while they watch our videos. You know, it gives me anxiety. <laughs> don't stop doing this because it's great, but... People send us videos of themselves watching our videos like on their big screen TV. Oh yeah, I'm just it like, oh, makes wow. me feel weird. I'm like, oh my god, I'm, my face is so big up there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, lunch success. That'd be real. Check it out if it's in your area. Mm-hmm. Link them down below. I feel like it's such like a classic vegan spot. Oh yeah. Especially in like California where they're prevalent. I remember the first time I went to Veggie Grill. 
it's such a, I guess, prominent memory. When I first went vegan, there wasn't really much, and Veggie Grill, it was kind of far away from my house, but it was the first time that I took my parents to eat vegan food, and they were like, whoa, like, that is so good, and we would go there often, and it was always, like, a family thing, and it was just one of the first ex enjoyable family experiences I had as a vegan, because when I first went vegan, everybody thought I was crazy, and I was super raw vegan in the beginning, so it wasn't, it wasn't, um... What's the word? Exciting for your parents. Yeah, they all... They were They're like, like I'm going to eat that. Yeah, I'm not going to eat that stuff. What are you making? So, yeah, Veggie Grill was a way for me to bond with them. The first Veggie Grill experience I had was actually... In L.A.? A few days before we met. Hmm? I had just gotten to California... Really? For Expo West, yeah. And our first stop from the airport was to go to Veggie Grill. And I got a buffalo chicken sandwich. Nice. I did not know that. Yep. Uh, before we dive into dinner, I got our produce box. And I actually... So the produce box we get, you are able to customize it until a certain time. And I forgot to customize it. We forget every week. We usually forget. Um, so, I guess... This is exciting. It forces us to eat things we wouldn't typically eat, maybe. We got some kale. Got some curly kale. Bell pepper. It's a big bell pepper. Yeah, it's huge. So many green onions. Oh no. Whoever needs this many green onions because they regrow. One potato. Just one? Just one. One or oh, two onions. We got a uh, decorative pear. <laughs> two onions. We got some nectarines. Ooh. Oh, the. Oh, I never threw mine away, but the plums are really good. I just never. Well, we them. also got this, which is a really cool fruit. Or a shirt for Louis. A little shirt. Top. We cut a little hole in it. Ooh, that's a good idea. Um, zucchinis. These are so cute. They're so tiny. Two apples. One for each of us. Oh, another pear. Ooh, gala apples. Your favorite. They're not my favorite. My favorite's Fuji. Wow. Gala's actually my least favorite. It's opposite day, so. Um. <laughs> we got avocado. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's our produce haul. Really I short. I hope you enjoy. Sweet and simple. Like us. Uh, now, now we're gonna, now we're gonna eat pizza instead of the produce. <laughs> you guys, I I'm like tired. I don't feel good, and I don't want to eat any more food. But we got this really good pizza that I just I need to take a slice of because I gotta try it. Absolutely. We, I mean, we're doing this video. So I was really tired. Also, I took a shower trying to get some energy. It didn't work. I might have a coffee after this, but Good idea. Modern Times and Rudy's Pizza so collaborated. Modern, I was gonna say, sorry to cut you off. If you don't know what Modern Times is, they are, they are a brewery and they are based out of San Diego, but they have, um, they have breweries? They, like, yeah, they have, it's like a rest, they do like food and then they brew beer. Um, it's they have it in San Diego, LA, and Portland. I don't know. So um, their whole company is vegan. So they have vegan beers. They have vegan food where they serve food. The Portland location collaborated with a local pizzeria called Rudy's Pizza, and they are two of our favorite places. So we had to get this pizza, and it was perfect timing for this video. We've included Rudy's in a bunch of videos before. Rudy's an awesome guy. They do that. Their vegan menu is so extensive. It's and so crazy. It's awesome. Yeah, it's not and, an all vegan place, but they're. They have a really amazing vegan menu. They had we did a pizza collab with them. I think it was last, it, year. last year, yeah. And coming soon, Modern Times collab sneak peek. Can't say much about it yet, but Cri next you're year gonna weeks. collab with them. Yep. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Um. So Modern Times and Rudy's uh, banded together to make this badass vegan pizza. So, um. Should we get a close-up? Yep. Hold on, hold on. Whee! That's a good one, right? Is it focused? Perfect. Honey mustard base. Vegan honey. Vegan mustard. honey. Homemade vegan honey mustard. And then Modern Times made the pastrami. Vegan, of course. Spicy pickles. Everything bagel seasoning. Wow. And then Good Planet cheese. Wow. Also, Rudy's butters all of their crusts, and it is, it's vegan, of course, vegan butter. It is so good. Like, ah, my god. So we're we gonna, gonna do like a vegan pizza 
pizza showdown on our channel. There's so much good vegan pizza. Best in Portland. vegan pizza in Portland. But That's then I don't want to like. I know. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You know. I know. There's there's so many different kinds of pizza. So like there's Rudy's. Um, there's like Virtuous Pie, which is like fancier pizza. There's Baby Blue, which is the wood fired with the sourdough crust. There is now Boxcar Pizza, which is Detroit style pizza. So there's something for everyone. There's Sizzle Pie, which is like good for late nights. For, like uh, drunk pizza. It's like drunk pizza. I wouldn't say it's like the best pizza, but they're open late and it's good like after a show. We usually, I feel like they're always strategically placed at, like, next, next to, to venues. venues. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Not what I was expecting. A lot of flavors. Mmm. That's good. So there's no tomato sauce. The honey mustard is the base. Wow. That is cool. It is spicy. A little bit. Give back me that towel. I'll use that. Is that okay? Or mopping. Does anyone mm. else call hand towels moppings? My mom calls them that. Might be a uh, New York Italian thing. There's also grilled onions on here. Mm. Today is the last day that this pizza is available, unfortunately, but this is the second collab that they've done. What was the first pizza they did? We didn't get that one, right? I don't remember what it was. But they did a collab a couple weeks ago, I think, or like a month ago. It kind of seems like they're going to continue doing this. I think it's an excellent idea. Yeah, check them out. Always cool to support local businesses. Again, like Chris said, Rudy is a great guy, and I love everything that he's doing. Honestly, the pickles weirded me out. Like, damn, those are spicy pickles. Huh. Huh. I really like the everything bagel seasoning, like on the crust. Mmm, really good touch. Oh, the pickles weirded me out, but they work. It's basically a sandwich. <laughs> really, yeah, like, you fold it up, so. Really I'm good. tired. Me too. I think eating junk food all day, because. I need to go to bed. It's eight o'clock. I've been Jasmine always eats pretty healthy. I've been trying to eat healthier, so I've been trying to limit like the really junky stuff to a meal a day or less. And this is my first day of like eating junk pretty much all day, and I definitely feel a difference of like I feel like foggy Energy. and tired. Yeah, I've been working out at night lately, like before dinner, just because I have like the most energy then. When I wake up in the morning, I'm always just so groggy. This guy goes on like six mile runs in the morning, but I can't do it. I'm up at five, six a.m. every day. We're but, like opposite in that sense, I mm -hmm. feel like. Because at night, I'm like, nah. But today, hell no, I'm not working out. If I try to work out, I mean, obviously, I'm eating dinner already, but you if, I, if I tried to sure. work out before this, yeah, I would have vomited. <laughs> it would not have been a good time. Or it just would have been a shitty workout. Yeah, those workouts where you just kind of like... Do something for two minutes. We're just and then like doing the there. movement, but like not doing anything. <laughs> oh, I've been there. But yeah, eating junk food all day. Not my vibe. Honestly, I might be. I'm not like over it, but I got to keep everything in in a little more moderation because I've overdone it in the past, and I'm trying to balance it out now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be eating any more food after this. I actually plan to have ice cream as part of this junk food video, oh. but there's no way in hell I want ice cream. I don't know about you, but I'm going to... Mm-mm. I don't think so. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know... Hmm. What's what, your favorite junk food? Yeah, what's your favorite junk food? Your like, go what's your go-to... Like... Junk food. Yeah, just... You're indulging, you're going all out. What do you eat? Let us know. And if uh, you haven't subscribed, please consider it. We post yeah. videos every Wednesday and Friday. And uh, yeah, we do uh, a bunch of different content recipes, reviews. We show you what to eat at stores and restaurants and all that. Uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Peace. Bye.